the legend of Tohozi, warrior of the north. The scene opens to the sound of drums echoing across the savannah green land. The golden hues of dawn stretch across vast fields of grass, whispering with a faint breeze. A small village emerges, the huts humble but sturdy. Children run and laugh, and the community bustles with life and joy. Long ago, in a time of valor and resilience, there was a brave warrior who rose from the dust of the northern lands. His name was Tohozi, a name that would be seen as great, a name that would bring strength in the hearts of warriors, a name that would be etched into history as the spearhead of a mighty lineage. A hero, a savior, a strong-willed, and a legend born from courage. Underscore 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 The journey begins Dr. Hozzy, a young man with piercing eyes and a strength unmatched and unparalleled, steps onto the scene. He carries a spear that gleams in the light, a symbol of his readiness to protect his people and his beliefs. He begins his journey across harsh terrains, determined to fulfill his destiny. Tohozi, known as the Red Hunter, hailed from the kingdom of Zamfara. The young warrior was summoned by destiny itself to undertake a journey that would lead him from his homeland into the heart of present-day Ghana. Legends say he was of great strength and bravery, resilient and stoic, qualities that could not be ignored. Underscore 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 In the town of Pusiga, Villagers gather to discuss the threat of a great python terrorizing their people. Their leader, burdened and afraid, stands amongst them, unsure of how to solve their crisis. Across the lands of Pusiga, fear spread like wildfire. A monstrous python, known for its cunning and size, had begun to prey upon the villagers, devouring their livestock, games, and instilling terror. Hearing of Tohozi's valor, the people of Pusiga sent for him, believing he alone could free them from this creature's grip. Underscore 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 The battle with the python Tohozi arrives in Pusiga, welcomed by the villagers with both fear and hope in their hearts. He listens to their cries, his face steady, and nods. With his spear in hand, he ventures alone into the forest where the python's abode dwells. The forest is silent, eerie, as Tohozi faces off with the creature. The people of Pusiga were desperate clinging to the chance that Tohozi could overcome the python. Brave and resolute, he accepted their plea, prepared to confront this beast that even the proclaimed strongest warriors of the land had feared. And so, Tohozi entered the forest. The battle unfolds, fierce, precise thinking and intense. Tohozi's strength is evident as he fights the python, finally bringing it down with a decisive thrust of his spear with a thrusting technique created by himself. And there, beneath the dense tall trees, Tohozi conquered the python, earning himself a place in the hearts of the people. In return, the grateful chief offered him land and treasures, honoring him as a savior and inviting him to stay. Underscore 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 under
As the seasons come and go, Tohozi decides to settle in the land, where he builds a loving family and community. The villagers see him as their protector, and they prosper under his influence. Tohozi, touched by the warmth of the people and the richness of the land, chose to stay, laying down strong roots that would flourish into a powerful legacy. His lineage would grow to become the Dagomba people, his children inheriting his indomitable strength, courage, and wisdom. Through Tohozi, a mighty clan was born, one that would grow into the Dagban kingdom, shaping the destiny of northern Ghana. Underscore 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 The legacy of Tohozi. Time passes, and scenes of Tohozi's descendants ruling over vast lands play out. Statues are built in his honor and admiration and the people chant his name during festivals and rituals. Generations passed, but the tale of Tohozi, the Red Hunter, only grew stronger and stronger with time. He was more than a warrior. He was the father of a people, the strong amongst the strongest, the founder of a dynasty. Today, the Dagomba and Mamprusi people trace their heritage to this fearless warrior, carrying forward his unyielding spirit. Underscore 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 A modern village celebration. Modern day descendants of the Dagban and Mamprusi people gather in a festival honoring Tohozi. The children dancing, elders recounting his story, and warriors demonstrating feats of strength to display what signifies their ancestry. And so, Tohozi's legacy lives on, passed down through tales, songs, and rituals. His bravery continues to inspire, and his spirit resides within the heart of the people. The legend of Tohozi reminds us that true strength is born not just from power, but from the courage to protect those who cannot defend themselves. This is the tale of the Red Hunter, the warrior who became a legend, dedicated to the memory of Tohozi and the people of northern Ghana. May his legend endure for generations to come. Underscore 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 under